Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today, you've got a great session. We're gonna be using these strength bands. Now if you haven't used them before, they are super, super effective. The thicker the band, the harder resistance, but if you don't have any barbells or free weights, dumbbells, whatever, then this is gonna be your best friend. Check out this awesome session, 20 minutes, full body burn, let's go. Right, so here we go. Let's start off with our mobility. So we're just gonna work in about two to three minutes, making sure that we incorporate some of the um, exercises that are actually in the session. Um, today's session, we're gonna start off with some push-ups, um, and then we're gonna move on to using the strength band for our lower body and, and then our upper body to finish, okay? So super, super effective session today. So let's get into that. What I want you to do is just start off with some nice, easy body weight squats. Push the knees apart when you get down to the bottom and then stand back up. So I'll just do this side on, we're gonna come down, we're gonna open up those knees and then we're gonna stand up. Down, open up the knees and then stand up. So we'll do six of those in total, nice and slow. If you've been sitting at a desk all day, this is an awesome one just to open up those hips. One more. And then back up. Okay, so we'll just shake those legs off. We're going to use this bench behind us. If you haven't got your bench out already, grab it out or a chair. Stick it behind you. And then we're going to go into some slow Bulgarian split leg squats, okay? So just controlling and just getting the hips nice and loose through that full range of motion. I want you to do just six repetitions because we're going to be doing these in the session in a moment. Last one. And swapping over. If you need to hold on to a chair as well, this is a great little tip to keep yourself nice and stable. Three to go. One more, and back up. Okay, let's warm up this upper body. Now we're actually gonna use these bands to actually mobilize our shoulders. So what I want you to do is hold the bands as wide as you possibly can, and then you're just gonna do a couple of front and back, stretch the band out each time, allow the shoulders to move freely, forwards and backwards, and then we can do a couple around the worlds as well. So we're gonna take the right hand over the head, the left arm will follow, right arm over the head, the right arm will follow. So one, two, and then back the same way. Two more around the worlds. And last one. Perfect, okay, now. Our first part of the session is gonna be some push-ups. So I don't wanna to do too many push-ups now and then you warm up because we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna push it tonight, so you're gonna know what I mean. But I do want to make sure we've got a mid part of our spine nice and loose. So what I want you to do is come into a push-up position onto all fours and just open up the middle. Swap over. We're gonna do six of these nice and slowly. And last one. Perfect, and now I've got a last exercise that a mate of mine, Luke White, showed me, chiropractor in uh, Bondi. Great little exercise for opening up the middle part of the spine, thoracic, getting that thoracic extension. So what I want you to do is put your elbows onto your a chair, a small ledge, and then we're gonna cross these hands over. We're gonna pop them onto the spine, top of the neck, and then I want you just to exhale and we're gonna sit right back. And over about 20, 30 seconds, take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> exhale, and then just lean into that stretch. This is just great for opening up the spine. 10 more seconds. And slowly coming back up. All right, couple of shoulder rolls, forwards and backwards. And then away we go. All right, so tonight's session, here we go. 20 minutes. Now, we're gonna be focusing on our upper body first. We're gonna do an exercise called the Dirty Dozen. Sounds a bit kinky, eh? Um, we're gonna be doing 12 push-ups. 
When we've done our 12 push-ups, a couple of you that I've trained have done this before, and we're then going to go straight onto some shoulder presses where you're going to imagine you've got some dumbbells in your arms and your hands, and you're going to push up and perform some shoulder reps. All right? We're then going to do 11 push-ups, 11 shoulder presses, 10, 10, 9, 9, all the way down to 1. So you're not going to have any weights or anything in your hands, you're just going to move your arms through that position and then we go all the way down. All right. So if you're going to do this guys and you really, really struggle with your push-ups, say you get to like 10 repetitions and you need to um, take a breather, just drop onto your knees. Start on your tiptoes if you can, good form push-ups, 12 at the start, all the way down to 1. Let's do it. Okay, 20 minutes, we're ready to go. In 3, 2, one, away we go. 12 reps. One. Two more. Okay, 12 shoulder presses. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Two more. Now by all means, use some light dumbbells, but be careful, I'm telling you now, super effective exercise this. That's 11, sweating already. Ten, eleven, good stuff. Okay, on to ten. When you hit seven, you know you're on the way down. Awesome. Ten reps. Here we go. One, two. Eight, nine reps. You need to go onto your knees, go onto your knees. Okay, here we go. Nine, two, three. Nine, good work. Eight, here we go. Okay, we've almost broken the back of it. Six, seven, eight. Here comes the first little drop of the sweat. One more. Nice guys, keep working hard. If you're a few reps behind, don't worry. Just make sure your form is good. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Here we go. Oh God, I think I've lost count. I think that's seven. Let's do seven again. Seven, two, three, four, six, seven. All right, six is shake those arms off. Just think to yourself, I can do six push-ups. Okay, we're almost there now. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, 
eyes. Two, three, four, five. Come on, you're almost there. That's four, two, three, four, down to three. Nice work. One, two, three. Home stretch now. Oh. And last one. Okay. Nice work, guys. Here's the one. Now, the way to get better at that is to slow the speed down the push ups, but then actually start using some weights. If you haven't got anything at home, two one kilo bag of rice in two hands, that's going to be more than enough. A little bit of resistance on the, uh, on the shoulder press and then slow those push-ups down. Really effective. Okay, now we've only got 20 minutes remember, so we're going to go straight into our next exercise. This is where you need your strength band. That's I've got a green one, so it's about two centimeters thick. It's going to give me enough resistance I need, but not too much that I can't um, actually work with it. So, we've warmed up with our Bulgarian split leg squats. We're going to go into those, but using the resistance band. If you haven't seen this before, super effective way of using the bands. So, we're going to come over our left shoulder. We're working the right side. So, band comes onto the foot, and we've got our step behind us. We're going to come into our split leg squat. Now I've got resistance pulling me down, so I need to go against it, yeah? Nice and slow, we're going to go for eight repetitions. Just control, and then big squeeze up. The beauty of the resistance band is, it gets harder as you stand up. Just make sure, so you don't end up on those stupid YouTube channels where you mess up your gym routine, and the band hits you in the nuts or the face. <laughs> Just make sure that you're standing right over the middle part of the band. Six, and you'll be all good. Seven, imagine if it breaks now. I'm still uploading this. There we go, good stuff, okay. Now we've gone over the left side. We go over the right side. Be really careful if you've got a thick band with lots of resistance. Left side, and just do it exactly like you would a normal Bulgarian split leg squat. Let's come back a little bit. Super slow, and then big drive up. Now obviously the harder the exercise you want it to be, you make the band thicker. That's four. For five. Six, two more. One more. And drive, great stuff. Okay, front squats. Now, we stand on the band. We bring it across the front of the body. We tuck the elbows underneath, so we've got our thumbs underneath the band. We point our elbows nice and high, open the feet wide, and then we're into our front squats. One, two, we're gonna go for 10 repetitions here. Again, make it harder, get a thicker band. Slow the reps down if you need to. Eight, two more. One more. Nice work. Okay, last exercise. We're gonna go through a hip thrust. Now, you can either use your bench or your chair, or if you've got a low couch, use your couch. Now, it takes a little bit of getting into this one, but fingers crossed I can get it right. So, we're gonna step into the band. So we step into the band like this, okay? We then loop it over our knees. So our feet are gonna be flat on the floor. So now the band is basically over my pelvis, or it will be by the time I start this. A Little bit of a flinkety one, this one. Okay, so now, see how the band's over my pelvis? I've got it attached to my feet. We're gonna drop down, 
and we're going to squeeze up to the top. Now you're going to feel it in your quads, yes, but you're also going to feel it in your glutes. So nice and controlled. Now when you're doing your hip thrusts, with your chin, track the way you're moving. So as you come down, your chin comes down. As you come up, you come up. I don't want you to lean back like this. Equally, when you come down, I don't want you to keep your chin up. I want you to track everything down, and it stops that spine from arching. Okay, I'm going to move back a little bit so I can come a little bit lower. Down we come. Big squeeze up at the top. Down we come. Squeeze up. If you want to put your hands out, you can for a bit more stability. And that is a great exercise now for my glutes. I can really feel my glutes firing, my hamstrings kicking in. I'm going to walk out a little bit more now. Let's go for two more. Down we go. Uh, big squeeze up. Down we go. Uh, big squeeze up. So it's just all about creating a similar experience as you would with a barbell. All right, that's round one. So we go back to the start. We go over our shoulder and we work it through. We want to try and minimize the rest on this because we've got another little mini circuit to go through and that's our upper body. So just control it, nice and controlled. That's three, four, five, six. Good guys, keep breathing. One more, and up. Awesome exercise for the quads. Flick it round. Left leg out in front, right leg behind. Abs tight, squeeze those quads. Four, good. Six. Seven, one more. And eight. Epic work. Okay, into our front squats. Stepping onto the band. Let's make it a little bit harder this time. Let's stand out a bit wider. Band's going to come up to the top of the chest, right on the collarbone. Elbows up, make sure you can still breathe. That's always advisable. Core in nice and tight. Three, four, nice big squeeze at the top. Five, we're doing five more. Two, three, good, two more. And last one. Nice work, guys. Great stuff. Okay, into our hip thrusts. Remember, looping the feet through, middle part of the foot, so you've got a lot of purchase on it. Now, pull that band over the knees. It'll feel a little strange at first. Get yourself into position. I've made a hash of this one. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Feet are out in front. Big squeeze through the glutes. Down on we come. And big squeeze at the top. Down we come, track the chin. Squeeze at the top. Down. And drive. This bench is almost a bit too high for me. I could probably use the, uh, the couch behind me, but it's very soft, so I think I'm gonna go through it. This is good. Three more. One. I'll tell you what, it's so effective. One more. There we go. Good work. These bands, are so good for just using, getting, firing up those smaller muscles. So if you were doing like an actual weight session, barbells, dumbbells, fixed weights, finishing off with a little super set with these resistance bands, strength bands, absolutely epic. Okay, last round. Here we go. Now right foot out. Seven, one more. Be 
big squeeze. You can really feel those quads kicking in now. Change it over. Last time, left side, middle of the bands. Big drive. Three. We've got just under six minutes to go. Six. Seven. One more. Remember guys, if you're following along these videos, 20 minute sessions, you want to back it up with another 20 minutes, how good? Do a resistance session first, and then straight into a hit session or a core session. So effective. Okay, front squats last time. Feet wide, remember. Elbows are gonna come up. One. Two. Three. Four, good. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. And squeeze up. Great stuff, guys. Okay, last time through on these hip thrusts. Let's see if I can position this a bit better this time. It's a burner. Okay. All right, we're in position. Chin into the chest. Down we come. And squeeze up to the top. Really get those glutes working. Feel the squeeze in the bum. Feel the hamstrings kick in. That's four. That's five. I'm going to re-squeeze now. That's six. If your arms are coming out to the side, make sure you're not using them as an aid. It's just to help keep you balanced. It's really starting to crank up now. Two more. Last one. Three, two, and relax. Woo! Awesome, Ben. Okay, quick bit of water. We've got just under five minutes. Okay, let's go on to our upper body. Now, we've got some shoulder work, some bicep work, and some triceps. Really straightforward, same band. Now we're gonna step into the band. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna cross that band over. Okay, I'm gonna get you to come into a hinge. Chest up, shoulders back, and then we're gonna stand up tall, all right? You're gonna slightly lean forward. Let's get these stomach muscles on, nice and tight in the tummy. And what I want you to do is I want you to pull this band up super high. I'm gonna spin around and face you on this one. The wider my feet are, the more tension in the band, the harder this is gonna be, okay? So here we go, elbows up, one, two, and you can see my hands are drawing out, three, so I'm pulling up, but I'm also pulling back at the same time. And feel it in the delts, the traps, the rhomboids, everything's kicking in now. Three more, big squeeze, one, two, one more. Good work. Okay, from there, we step wide again. We're working our biceps. We've got it in a hammer grip this time, okay? So we've changed from a pronated grip, now we go into that hammer grip. Now, the further down the bar, or the further down the band you grip, the more tension's gonna be through that band, all right? So we're about halfway, and we're gonna curl up to the top. That's one, for two, three. Remember, it's gonna get harder as you pull up. Four, it's gonna wanna pin you back. So resist it. Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and relax. Okay, last exercise, triceps. Now, normally you see a lot of people do this with pairs or they loop it around a post. You can do this on your own. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what we do is you step through the band, okay? You take, you cross the band over. You're watching carefully. So we've got the bands over my right foot, all right? We're gonna cross the band over uh, the other way. Cross the band over that way. So you've got your left hand coming over your right. The reason being is as I spin around, it's gonna be on the right side. So watch this. Over, and we're there. 
All right, now I'm gonna move around to see you. My hands are quite close together. Ready to pump it out. One, two, three, four. Hands are close. Five, elbows are in. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Come back over. And then we're in that crossed over position. Easy. Okay. We're going straight back in. We've got two more rounds to go. Cross it over. Chest up. Nice big high elbows. Pull those hands out. Let's get a tiny bit of speed coming into it now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Elbows high. Hands wide. Nine. Ten. Okay, keep those hands wide. Let's make this hard. Elbows in tight. Hammer curls, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, push hard. Six, seven, take away that swing in. Eight, nine, ten. And when they come past you in the park, you've got to give it the old 1,001, 1,002. Okay, last exercise, here we go. Heel on. Let's see if I can get this right this time. I've done it again. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay, so left hand over the right. Whoop, flick it over. Come around this side. Elbows in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push hard, guys. Seven, eight. One more. Last one, here we go. Three, two, one, one, two, three. So good to pull up fast, as long as you control it on the way down. Go against the resistance. That's five, six big squeeze, seven, eight, nine, two more. One more. Oh. Oh. And last one. Let's see if I can nail this, shall we? No, I've got it wrong again. All right, last time through. Here we go. A little bit harder this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, one more. Oh, guys, well done, great session. So hopefully you can see just how effective these little strength bands are. If you can get your hands on some, they are so, so good. Um, a great variation to knock it up from some barbells or some dumbbells and uh, great for traveling as well. So stick these in your bag when you go away on holiday. I hope you feel better now than when you first started, as you know, that's the goal. Thank you so much for watching as always and don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, come back for some more. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for joining.